We've got Lord Smith now uh, joins me, Chairman of the Environment Agency, of course, joins me from central London. And uh, a very good morning to you, Lord Smith. Uh, got to ask you, first of all, about uh, you writing in the Guardian newspaper today. You've uh, hit back at some of the, the charges, some of the accusations, some of the fingers that have been pointed at you. You're clearly very angry. Uh, well, I was very angry at some of the things that uh, Mr Pickles particularly said over the weekend, uh, where uh, he was calling into question the expertise and the professionalism of the uh, engineers and the people who work for the Environment Agency, uh, who actually know uh, uh, rather a lot more about flood risk management than he does. Uh, and I, I, it's quite all right uh, using the chairman as a punch bag. That's what the chairman's here for. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm uh, not going to have my staff uh, uh, taken to pieces in that sort of way. And uh, they have been uh, really working hard uh, over the whole of the last two months. And uh, now, of course, with the rising threat along the River Thames, 14 severe flood warnings in place, a lot of people facing the trauma uh, of flooding. It, it, it is, uh, uh, in some ways, the most distressing thing that can happen to uh, someone in their home. And uh, uh, the serious business is getting on with trying to help them and trying to protect as many properties as we possibly can. Uh, and that's much more important than any sort of blame game or finger pointing. But as you say, the anger's been building up and there's been a lot of discussion about regrets and what could have been done and shouldn't have been done. Let's not revisit those. But let me ask you about, do you have any regrets about how you personally have handled all this, that presumably as the crisis was building six weeks here on the Somerset levels, you were allowing your staff to get on with the job but nobody heard from you. Everyone was going, where is the chairman? And that's why then all this criticism has been built up and dumped on you. Do you regret staying so silent for such a long period of time? Well, it might have made sense to uh, uh, be uh, uh, more upfront at the time, uh, possibly, yes. But the important thing uh, was making sure right the way through from the East Coast surge in uh, uh, the early uh, 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 days of December, uh, making sure that uh, everything was happening that could happen, that all the work that was necessary was being done, the demountable defences that needed to be put up were being put up, the warnings were all being issued, and I was very much uh, making making sure that all of that was actually happening. But you say there's no point getting involved in a blame game, but that's precisely what you're doing in The Guardian today. You're saying, well, look, we've had £100 million worth of, of cuts. We're not allowed to spend more than £400,000 due to some strange Treasury rules. That's pointing the finger right back at your accusers. No, it, 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 it's not. It's stating the facts. It's uh, uh, trying to uh, get a bit of fact into, wow. the, uh, in, in, into the story, um, uh, and particularly in relation to uh, the rules that we have to abide by uh, in any individual flood defence scheme, uh, and uh, those are the rules that meant that uh, what we were able to do a year ago in the Somerset levels, which uh, are again being affected today, uh, more rain uh, has uh, raised the levels in the, uh, of the water in the Somerset levels yet again. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, we put money on the table last year to uh, do some dredging of the tone and the parrot. We were only able at that time under the Treasury rules to put 400,000 on the table. We did that straight away. Uh, but uh, now, of course, the rules have been changed, and that's extremely welcome. And I pay uh, real tribute to the Secretary of State for the Environment, Owen Patterson, for having uh, made that decision so that as soon as the water levels do go down, we will be able to start dredging uh, as part of a more comprehensive approach uh, to the needs of the levels. Interesting what you've done there. You're making a clear distinction between the Environment Secretary Owen Patterson and the man who's filling in for him at the moment, Eric Pickles, who's noted as a bit of a political bruiser. Do you think he has deliberately gone for you, deliberately politicised this? You, after all, were a, a Labour cabinet minister appointed under that uh, initial Labour regime. Do you think he's, he's the one that's making it political? Well, re remember, I, I was appointed, first of all, yes, by a Labour Secretary of State, uh, but I was then reappointed for a uh, second term by a Conservative uh, Secretary of State. I've been very happy to serve uh, uh, both governments and uh, have worked extremely well with both the uh, Environment Secretaries under this government that uh, I've served. 
Um, you'll need to ask Eric Pickles about his motives. Uh, uh, all I'm doing is trying to counter one or two of the things that he was saying that uh, uh, I, I think were um, uh, both inaccurate and grossly unfair to the really highly professional staff of the Environment Agency. So you have to, having said that, you have to clear up then one thing. Is this a success story? Within the budget that you've been talking about, you've explained that today very clearly, you've explained it here on Sky News, you've explained it in the Guardian newspaper. Given the constraints you're working under, has the Environment Agency overall made a success of this unprecedented situation? We accept that. The, 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 there is always more that uh, uh, we can and should do. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I, I'm proud of the fact that we have uh, succeeded in protecting something like 1.3 million properties over the course of the last two months that if our defences hadn't been in place would have been flooded. And uh, uh, that uh, is, is something that uh, uh, I, I think has been done well. But uh, 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 having said that, uh, nothing can take away the uh, difficulty that faces the 5,000 or so uh, properties and homes that have been flooded over the two-month uh, two period. And uh, uh, what we uh, need to do as the floodwaters recede is to find, uh, is there more we can do? Are there more defences we can build? Is there more work that can be done in order to try and uh, help the future? Just very briefly, Lord Smith, would you consider coming back down here to the, the Somerset levels after what you went through before, or was that too much of a searing experience for you? Oh, I'll certainly want to uh, come back to the Somerset levels, in, as indeed I uh, uh, was back there several times last year, and um, uh, because uh, uh, the Somerset levels are a completely unique landscape, they need unique solutions. Uh, and uh, uh, once we've got the comprehensive plan in place that the Secretary of State has asked for, and once the work has started, I will certainly want to uh, come and uh, see what's happening and make sure that uh, everything that is possibly uh, uh, being done is being done.